Hey folks, I'm Gary Carlin, owner of Monsters Creek Outdoors. I'm going to talk to you here on this video about the squirrel distress call. Uh, it's literally unbelievable how uh, squirrels will respond to the squirrel distress call. Uh, and this call doesn't have a read in it. It's kind of more or less to say based off of a whistle. Uh, I've got a special little mechanism in the butt end of the call here uh, that I've laid out and designed myself uh, to actually make the sound. That I would that I want the call to make so it's a real high pitch type sound uh, it's not very very loud to put it but it's real high pitch it's a real keen type sound the squirrels can hear it really well but what I'm doing I'm producing the sound of a young or a baby squirrel like to say that's been caught by a hawk or an owl or something like that and they're making this little distress noise and uh, but it sounds like this. And what I'm doing, I'm inhaling on the call. I'm giving maybe four or five or six fairly quick, sharp notes inhaling through the call. And it's going to go. That's all it does. That's all the sound you're making. Uh, but here over the last couple of days, I've been out walking around, not squirrel hunting, but just I happen to have one of these calls in my pocket and I run up on a couple of squirrels and I pulled out this call and I wanted to just see how the squirrels would react. Well, they ended up being a good ways on up the tree. And after I started blowing this call, they came straight down the body of the tree and literally come straight to me and offered uh, plenty of shot opportunities. So. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do right here now, uh, I'm going to throw in a clip uh, showing uh, one of the squirrels responding to this call yesterday, and then I'll be right back after that. I got a squirrel up here in the treetops right up over me. I'm going to see if I can get him to come to me or close some distance. As you can see, I would have had plenty of opportunities for a shot. That's quite amazing to be able to get them to respond like that. And I think I, I done that about three or four times yesterday. It's just it's just amazing how they, they come to that squirrel distress call like that. But uh, it's a very effective little call and maybe one of the very most effective calls to carry with you when you go out there squirrel hunting because they're definitely going to come and check that sound out, you know, and see what's going on. But uh, uh, if you'd like to purchase one, uh, get in contact with me. I'd be glad to ship you one. Uh, but again, I'll demonstrate the sound here. Again, it's, uh, you know, four, five, six notes. And again, that's all you're doing. So uh, kind of the way I work it, if I go out, uh, you know, looking for squirrels, uh, 
if I'm sitting in a specific spot and things has been a little bit dead and I ain't really seen nothing moving around, you know, it, and you happen to be close to what might be a den tree and squirrels are, are in that den tree, you can start blowing this call and they very well may come out of that den tree. Or another thing, if you catch one up in a tree and he's way up in the top of a tree, you know, or he's, you know, further away from you than, you know, what you want to shoot or something, you can, you can sit down or squat down or whatever and start blowing this squirrel distress and he'll start coming your way and when he gets fairly close he'll turn and he'll come right down the tree you know and coming right to you like I say it's just it's it's amazing how they respond to it so uh, uh, that's the demonstration and a little talk on the uh, the squirrel distress call so until next time I'm Garen Carlin Mosses Creek Outdoors and we'll see you mm -hmm.